Teacher, tell us, of the commandments, which is the greatest? To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. And the second is like it. Love your neighbors as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? He's the son of David, of course. How is it then David, speaking by the Spirit, calls him Lord? For he says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under my feet. If then David calls him Lord, how can he be a son? The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So you must obey them. Do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do. For they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy loads and put them on men's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for men to see. They make their phylacteries wide and the tassels on their garments long. They love the most important seats in the synagogues. In the place of honor at banquets. They love to be greeted in the marketplaces and to have men call them rabbi. But you're not to be called rabbi. For you, you're all brothers and you have one master. And do not call anyone on earth father. For you have one father and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called teacher. For you have one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you will be your servant. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You shut the kingdom of heaven in men's faces. You yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. Woe to you. Teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You travel over land and sea to win a single convert. And when he becomes one, you make him twice as much the son of hell as you are. Woe to you, blind guides! You say, if anyone swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if he swears by the gold of the temple, he's bound by his oath. You blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that makes the gold sacred? You also say, if anyone swears by the altar, means nothing. But if he swears by the gift on it, he's bound by his oath. You blind men, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? Therefore, he who swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And he who swears by the temple swears by it and by the one who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by God's throne. And by the one who sits on it. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees. You hypocrites. You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill, and cumin. But you've neglected the more important matters of the law. Justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. Blind guides, you, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but on the inside, they're full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee! First clean the inside of the cup and dish. Then the outside also will be clean. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You're like whitewashed tombs which look beautiful on the outside. But on the inside, they're full of 
dead men's bones and everything unclean. In the same way, you appear to people as righteous. But on the inside, you're full of hypocrisy and wickedness. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You build tombs for the prophets, and you decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our forefathers, we would not have taken part of the shedding of the blood of prophets. So you testify against yourselves that you are the descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of the sin of your forefathers, you snakes, you brood of vipers. How will you escape being condemned to hell? Therefore, I'm sending you wise men and teachers, some of whom you'll kill and crucify, others you'll flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town. And so upon you will come all the righteous blood that has been shed on earth, from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, who you murdered between the temple and the altar. For I tell you the truth, all of this will come upon this generation. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. How I've longed to gather you together as a hen gathers her chicks under his wings. But you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you, desolate. For I tell you the truth, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 